How to break a habit. Do you bite your nails? Chew on your hair? Suck your thumb? Pick your lips? Regardless of your particular habit, or how deeply ingrained it is, the process of breaking it will be similar. With persistence and the right mindset, it's possible to break your bad habits, and these instructions help you through the process of doing so. Changing your thinking. Commit to a goal. Although it may seem obvious, it is important to understand that the first step in breaking a bad habit is developing a true desire for and committing to changing your life. 1. Many people embark on the path of breaking a habit without being certain that they really want to change. Breaking habits is a difficult task, so if you aren't fully committed to it you are likely to fail. 2. Understand your habit. Most habitual behaviors are patterns that have evolved because they have been rewarded in some way. They make it easier to perform a common task, or to deal with various emotional states. 3. A habit loop forms from a cue, or a trigger, that tells your brain to start the habitual behavior. The brain processes a reward from this behavior, in the form of neurochemicals, that reinforces the habit loop. 4. Interrupting the behavior part of this loop is how to break a habit. 5. Examine the context of your habit. To determine the most effective way to break a habit, it will be helpful to determine the situational and emotional context that triggers the habit. 6. This can help you understand what rewards your brain is looking for. 7. Having this understanding will allow you to develop other, healthier means of achieving the same rewards that the bad habit provided. 8. Many bad habits come about as a means of dealing with situations that cause stress or boredom. 9. For example, for many people smoking provides a relief from stress. Procrastination temporarily provides free time to engage in more fun activities. 10. When you feel the urge to perform your habitual behavior, make a note of it. Often, habits have become so ingrained that we don't even notice why we do them. Developing that awareness will help you pinpoint what is going on to prompt your habit. 11. When you make your note, jot down what was going on at the time. For example, if you're a nail biter, note whenever you feel the impulse to bite your nails. Take a few notes about how you're feeling, what has been going on during the day, where you are, and what you are thinking. Make a plan. Once you understand the situation that triggers your habit and the reward you receive for engaging in the undesirable behavior, you can make a plan that involves goals for behavior change and strategies for minimizing habit triggers. 12. Studies show that having a clear, specific plan greatly increases your chances of success in breaking habit. It helps break down unwanted behaviors and also helps create new patterns of action. 13. Plan to make mistakes. Do not make a plan that will be deemed a failure as a result of a single slip-up. Most people give in to the temptation of old habits at some point while trying to break them. If you accept this in advance, you will be less likely to let negative thinking defeat the whole enterprise of breaking the habit. 14. You should include in your plan mechanisms for keeping yourself accountable in the form of rewards for successes and feedback from others who support your goal of breaking the habit. You are more likely to succeed in your goal if you share it with others. More details on this are provided later in this article. Visualize success. In your mind, repeatedly practice breaking the habit by imagining scenarios in which you engage in desired behaviors rather than the bad habit. 15. Imagine situations in which you would be tempted to engage in the undesired behavior and choose a better option. This helps reinforce positive behavior patterns. For example, if your goal is to eat less junk food, imagining yourself in your kitchen preparing a healthy meal, and sitting down to eat it. 16. Some people find it helpful to write down scripts of their desired behavior and read them every day. 17. Practice mindfulness. Increasing your mindfulness in daily life can help you become aware of your actions, rather than functioning on autopilot. Mindfulness focuses on being aware of what you are experiencing in the moment, and experiencing it without avoidance or judgment. With practice, 
mindfulness can become a healthy habit that can counteract the bad habits you want to avoid. 1819. Mindfulness trains your brain to respond to situations differently. It can actually reprogram the way you respond to situations and stressors. 20. It can help give you time before you react to something, and decrease your tendency toward automatic thoughts, which arises in response to a situation. 21. Be conscious of when you are tempted to give in to bad habits. What are the situations that lead to the undesired behavior? What are the sensations in your body or thoughts in your mind that promote the undesired behavior? Understanding them without judging yourself will help you resist the behavior. 22-23 Don't suppress thoughts about the habit. If you try not think about something, ironically, you will start to see it everywhere and become overwhelmed. 24 Trying not to think about smoking, for example, could result in you becoming hypersensitive to anything that reminds you of smoking. You are much better off to recognize your craving and the situations that promote it, and deal with these issues head on. Try Mindfulness Meditation. Taking a few minutes every day to become quiet and focus on your breathing will help you develop awareness of your body and your thoughts. Yoga and Tai Chi also encourage meditation, and they're good for your health. Note when you feel the urge to perform your habit, but don't judge those thoughts. You could try saying something like, I'm feeling the urge to smoke right now or I really want to bite my fingernails at the moment. Acknowledging your feelings will help you move past them without getting stuck on the thoughts. Changing your behavior. Change your environment. Research suggests that sometimes our environments can cue us to perform certain behaviors, even if we're actively trying to stop. 25. Breaking a habit, then, is partially a matter of reducing situational triggers until you can develop new ways of dealing with them. 26. Novel situations promote more use of the parts of your brain that are geared toward consciously making decisions, rather than slipping into automatic behavior patterns. 27. A good way to avoid bad habits is to find a way to change your scenery and see if your bad habit becomes less tempting. For instance, if you like to smoke out on your patio, remove the chair you sit in and replace it with a plant. If you tend to overeat at the same location at the dining room table, move to a different seat or rearrange your furniture such that you're facing a different direction than usual when you eat. Subtle changes to the environment can make a habit less rote and force your mind to reassess what's happening. 28. Forge relationships with people who support your desired behavior. You don't need to ditch your old friends entirely, but finding some new ones who live the way you want to can help minimize triggers. 29. Go on vacation, if you can. One of the most effective ways to break old habits is put yourself in a completely new situation for a while, and develop new, healthier habits that you can then transplant into your normal life when you return. 30.